It's difficult to picture all of the different human body functions that are going on right now. Muscles contracting, hormones communicating, enzymes being produced, DNA replicating, and so much more. None of this would be possible without cellular respiration. All living things respire. Plants, animals, bacteria, fungi, protozoans, all find a way to produce energy to do work. How do we all accomplish this task? The answer is through a process called cellular respiration. Cellular respiration takes place in the plasma membranes of smaller cells like bacteria, but in plants and animals takes place inside organelles located in the cytoplasm called mitochondria. The overall reaction for cellular respiration, if oxygen is present, is noted above. Let's read it as a sentence together. C6H12O6 is known as glucose may be familiar sugar to you. 6O2 is simply oxygen. So glucose and oxygen are on the left side of the equation. These are the reactants of aerobic cellular respiration. The arrow means produces or yields. 6CO2, you may have guessed that that is the abbreviation for carbon dioxide plus six molecules of H2O, which is water, and plus energy, stored form of energy we will talk about in other videos known as ATP. So, to remember this equation, it's easy. Just think of the two things you need to survive, food and oxygen, right? here as glucose and oxygen. Then think of the waste products you excrete out of your lungs. Close your hands over your mouth and breathe out into them. Feel the moisture? What is that? That is water, one of the products of cellular respiration. You also breathe out carbon dioxide and produce ATP, which is used as energy in the body. So, Curiously, the opposite reaction, or if we were to reverse this reaction and change the ATP to solar energy, we would reveal an interdependent process known only in plants and some bacteria as photosynthesis. Energy flows through plants and animals during photosynthesis and cell respiration. So I'm put this as a P, photosynthesis. And they work together to meet the energy needs of cells. In another video about photosynthesis, you will learn how animals, for example humans, get energy from the sun. So what exactly happens during cellular respiration? Well, in eukaryotic cells, if oxygen is present, it is known as an aerobic process. And if oxygen is, um, and if oxygen is available, Cellular respiration takes place in three steps. One, glycolysis. Two, the Krebs cycle. And three, the electron transport chain. If oxygen is not present, this is called an anaerobic process. Let's indicate that here. If oxygen is present, it is called aerobic respiration. And if oxygen is absent, it is called anaerobic. This is also called fermentation. So if oxygen is not present, there are two types of fermentation. Lactic acid fermentation and alcohol fermentation. We will go into further depth about each of these steps outlined below in other videos. The most important thing for you to remember from this video is the purpose of cellular respiration, its location in the cell, the overall reactants and products, and the difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration. I hope you got it. Try taking a second away from the screen to write down the overall reaction for aerobic cellular respiration and check out more detail about this in other videos. Good luck.